Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Be Back Again, man. And today, I gotta talk about my boy Drizzy Drake. He, his reign is legendary. Like, he might not be the best wordsmith, the best, like, the best pen. Like, of course, he got them ghostwriting rumors he was facing years back. But his run is legendary, and you, you a hater if you can't deny that. And I want to get into why I might feel like he is like distancing himself and or leaving. Young Money Cash Money song, man. Because everybody know Drake came into the Young Money scene around about 08 because the Dedication 3 was the first time I heard Drake, and that was in 08. And everybody should know the story how Wayne Wayne got a phone call from J Prince, J Prince Jr., and he found Drake on MySpace back in 07, said, look, you, I think you'll be a great fit in Young Money. And then that was, that was sealed and delivered ever since then. Wayne and Drake been on the reign of just taking over and Wayne basically put his career in the back burner to make sure Drake blew up to be the legend that he is today and I salute Wayne for that because like Wayne, Wayne could have been like any other of these rappers that was big at the time. I'm like, I don't want you, you ain't taking that shine. I'm going to be on top until I fizzle out. But Wayne at the height of his career in 0809 pushed his career to the side and said, Drake, go get him. But of course... When there's ups, they're always downs. And it's crazy. It's information that I never knew about Drake and Nicki Minaj. How in early 09, they actually got kicked out of Young Money. Um, I, I recently seen this, this interview with, with Jay Mills. He was just, if y'all don't know who Jay Mills is, he was in Young Money. He ain't never blow up. Of course, Young Money had like 20 people. And only four of them blew up and made a name for themselves. But Jay Mills was one of them early on. And he was basically telling the story how... Wayne wasn't sure if Drake and Nicki wanted to really be in Young Money because they was they was kind of rapping Young Money, but they was doing so many other things that at the time it wasn't really clear where they was like gonna be at in stone. So because of that, Wayne was like, "Okay, if you don't want to be in Young Money, I ain't forcing you to be here. Y'all can go do your own thing. I don't need y'all." But ultimately, Wayne and Wayne, Drake, and Nicki, they became a team along with Tiger, Lil Chucky, Lil Twist, and everybody else who don't matter. But that whole spat was never, you know, online for people to see. That was some behind the scenes stuff. And I bet there's plenty of behind the scenes stuff about Cash Money Young Money that we would love to see in a movie one day. But the thing that really made the thing go sour was, of course, in 2014, Wayne and Birdman, they had their spout, and Wayne was like, I want to off cash money, F cash money. He was on an old F cash money thing for years until him and Birdman finally kissed and made up again. <laughs> and then um, in 2017, the, on the, the picture with Drake, Wayne, and Nicki, they, they re, reunited. I guess they had some type of behind-the-scenes thing, and they just weren't talking for years. But I really feel like Drake, like... On his music and on Wikipedia, it says he still signed the Young Money Cash Money, but and even Birdman said out his mouth that like Drake is forever in business with Cash Money. So I don't. I mean, I guess back catalog, but honestly, the way it been looking like with Wayne, like how his career, like don't get me wrong, Wayne is my always my number one favorite rapper, but his career, let's keep it real, his career has not been the same in recent years, and I feel like. Drake is going, like, he already fell back. But I think in, like, the paperwork, I think Drake is going to leave Cash Money soon because I remember at one time it was supposed to be a video. I mean, not a video. It was supposed to be a, a, a album with Drake and Wayne. They were supposed to do an album. Back in 2011, Birdman was pumping that out around, saying around the time when Watch the Throne was out. Birdman was like, yeah, Drake and Wayne, they're going to be the new, the new goats. They're going to drop a a collab album together that jump gonna go triple times platinum but that never happened but you see Drake doing more stuff with Future like him and Future got a project out and they was supposed to drop one last year but like, I don't know what happened with that but like Drake did a project with Future before he did with Wayne that should show you you know what I'm saying he ain't really he he know was hot like he always in recent years or not basically since the beginning of his career he always Hopped on somebody's songs to get them buzzing. He 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 did that for over ten years. So like, he hasn't really did nothing musical with Wayne in years. Like, other than maybe a mixtape here and there, but an official song. Like, when the last time Wayne was on a Drake album or, or Drake was on the Wayne album? Like, it was so long ago because Wayne really just 
I ain't gonna lie, he just fell off. He just he just fell off. So you know, but it's just it's just crazy. But I really feel like in the next couple of years, it's gonna be a public. It's gonna be public, and I'm not gonna say that Drake ain't gonna never like just completely just cut Wayne off and just not talk to him again. No, Drake got a Wayne tattoo on his arm. Like so, Drake is just forever gonna respect Wayne for giving him a chance. And just believing in them. Because I remember it was times when T.I. was like, nah, I, I, I passed on Drake. It was a couple of rappers that passed on Drake. Because it was back when Drake ain't had no facial hair. He ain't have all the awards. Ain't nobody know he was going to be dropping hit after hit. When I first heard of Drake, I was like, who the hell is this light skinned dude? We already got a Drake. Drake Bell. But little do I know Drake is the biggest rapper in the world. And he been running it for 10 plus years, man. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think Drake going to leave Young Money? Or do y'all think he going to stay, man? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's about being a mouth.